Hey guys, just want to give you a quick update on what is happening with our uh, swim platform extension that we're getting through Swim Platform Ultra. Uh, I've had a few people ask why I can't do that before the boat launches. Let me just back up. The original plan was have the boat launched at the marina, take it out of the water, put it on land, uh, and, and blocked as well, so I could do the swim platform extension installation as well as finish uh, touching up the bottom of the, the the bottom coat of the hull which I wasn't able to get underneath because the ice was dissipating melting blah 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 anyways um, we are probably not gonna have the boat launch at the marina as early as I was hoping for simply because they're changing the rotation of what side of the marina they're launching first it's just kind of there's two big sections in the marina basically and the last couple of years they've always started launching the boat where we are <laughs> but because there was a lot of uh, moaning from the people on the other side they decided they're gonna start over there first so that means that's gonna put us back a week or two probably before uh, before boogaboo is floating again so again comes back to the question why can't I do the swim platform extension while it's up in the air on blocks in our covered slip. One would think that would be ideal conditions. And yes, it would. However, unfortunately, since I didn't know that we were actually going to do that for this spring, I didn't take into consideration about where and how they were going to lift the boat last year. So I went to, uh, I went by the marina on Sunday and uh, just took this footage for you just to give you an idea of how the boat is orientated. As you can see, the end of the existing swim platform that's there, which is the factory extended swim platform, is almost right on the edge of the brake wall. So the new um, swim platform ultra extended swim platform is gonna stick out beyond that at least another 12 inches, at least another foot. So if I were to install that the way the boat is sitting now, they wouldn't be able to lower the boat because of course, um, again, I'm going to refer back to my last video, the video before, about how they lower the boat. So just slings go underneath the boat and block and tackle and they lower the boat straight down. So clearly, if the boat was to go straight down with an extended swim platform, that would hit the concrete brake wall and that is an immovable and a boot and that and a movable object so that would uh, that would not fare well for the new swim platform so what I'm thinking since we're gonna have a little bit of extra time since I'm gonna have a little bit of extra time if I'm able um, I was considering doing some prep work because what I have to do is remove that existing extended swim platform and fill the holes I believe there are eight bolts holding that thing on if I'm not mistaken it is through bolted so I'm gonna have to fill those holes one way or the other so what I'm thinking is if I get a chance uh, I'll build a temporary platform under the boat right at that back section over the water and remove that swim platform fill the holes do whatever I have to do and then once the boat is launched I can again have it hauled out it would just be trailered out onto land very close to the launch ramp so it's an easy peasy thing and it would be the same as what I had to do last year when I did the holding tank. So it's a simple process. Just drive it over a launch ramp, they trailer it out, put it on blocks, and leave me there as long as I need. So hopefully I would be able to have the new swim platform installed within a day or two and touch up my bottom cold paint and whatever else I can't reach from where we are in the slip right now, polishing whatnot, um, and have the boat back in the water in a few days. So. That's that. Like I said, just wanted to uh, make that clear. Uh, just a real quick update, a follow-up again as well with the ice conditions. I flew the drone around a little bit just to see what the uh, conditions, or at least to show you what the conditions look like at our slip and at the marina. And as you can see, uh, on Sunday, it was still the marina itself was still all ice covered. Now it's really thin. It's breaking up underneath the actual boat uh, in the slips but not enough to drop the boats just quite yet, but the river and canal that feeds into the marina coming out of the lake 
as you can see it's almost completely wide open or at least it was and um, the big lake itself is still 70% I would say ice covered and um, but it is melting around the shore quite a bit and today it was let's just look at the temperature here on the truck it is currently nine degrees Celsius it was up to about 10 or 11 so the uh, high 40s low 50s Fahrenheit something like that for the better part of the day and it is supposed to uh, continue with uh, temperatures in around there and even warmer going into into the weekend so fingers crossed the ice will be gone this week <laughs> Oh, did you say that in the last video? Yeah, but anyways, hopefully the ice will be gone this week. And hopefully they can start launching the boat soon. And hopefully again, I can get that uh, swim platform, the old one off, get it prepped and get it uh, ready for the new swim platform ultra. Extended swim platform because that is going to be so awesome. Uh, Anchor Girl and I are uh, really, really, really looking forward to that. Uh, extra piece of real estate on the back of Boo Boo. Yeah, in uh, so uh, so much so that we actually went out and bought new folding chairs so we can sit at the back there and sit on the swim platform when we are away. Anyways, that's it for now, kids. I will uh, update you as uh, as I see fit as far as what's going to be happening on the boat. Like I say, just like last year, I I, I, I am. I am so full of eager anticipation for uh, for this summer and our new uh, our new boating season, our new boating adventures, and we will be going to new places that even Anchor Girl and I haven't been yet on the boat. So it's going to be brand new to us, brand new for you guys, and not the same old places that I've taken you in the past. It's going to be a lot of new stuff, lots of new footage, hopefully even <laughs> one or two new uh, cameras too, but. Whatever, we'll see. Anyways, that's it for now. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll subscribe so you don't miss any of the new boating videos coming up. I also post daily on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, so check that out to get your daily boating fix. Head on over to my online store where you can find shirts, caps, mugs, and a whole lot more. Of course, all the links can be found down in the description or click on over to BoatingWithBoogaboo.com. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next Boating With Boogaboo adventure. Cheers!